What's going on guys? My name is Peter Katani and I'm here to show you my deck. It is Janimba. I'm a little ashamed I'll be a it, but I'm now going to be a player that says, no two please. Um, I got the inspiration from my boy, Devin Butterworth. He got top eight at our last pro play tour and the new cards came in. So the fact that the new cards came in, I checked them out and it's blue yellow and I didn't want to play Janimba, but the pirates weren't doing enough. So, um, it's just sad that the new Bojacks that came out worked better with Janemba than it did with its own pirates. So I was like, ah, let me try how Janemba is. So, I said so like five times, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> um, a friend let me borrow his mat, he's a judge. Um, shout out to Derek. There we go, I always forget, he works with us and I always, I pick on him a little bit, but like friendly because I'm like his older brother. Derek lent me this mat because he's a judge and I was like, bro, I'm gonna make a Janimba video. Let me borrow your mat. No problem, Peter, you're my best friend. I'm like, you're sweet, Derek. But let me show you the deck. <laughs> All right, guys, this is the deck with new cards in it. Very important because, you know, I can't show you old cards with Shenron going around. We're hoping they're getting hit, but you know, this ain't a complaint video. I figured, Let's make it a little entertaining in the YouTube world and show you new cards with the new deck. I'm using pink sleeves because this mat is kind of like pinkish, so it's kind of cool. I'm just like, I'm going with theme. I'm very weave like that. So leader, I promised myself I was never gonna play it. I'll be honest with you. Uh, not that I judge any player that plays it, but I just wanted it to be different. The fact that it's seen play, but not really, I'm like, ah, oh, maybe it's time I can finally like try him out. And he is pretty fun. Permanent is you can't have anything five, or more cost in your deck. So no scientist food, no anything good basically. Um, <laughs> you only get to stick with four and less. Cool, normal permanent, it works on front and not, it's not in the back of life. Make no sense. Um, his auto is when he swings, I get to draw a card and my opponent mills two off their deck. Becomes very devastating, it's horrible for the game. I wish it was only one, your opponent mills one and then when it awakens, it should mill two, but you know. Forget my opinion. And the Awaken is it gets to on top two energy, which is fantastic. So then we flip it. Bam, it looks for monster, foil, it's gorgeous, all that good stuff. Um, auto, same thing as the front side, when it swings, I get to draw a card and my opponent mills two. And his other auto, which is fantastic, is once per game, I can discard any blue card from my hand to negate an attack. And since it's an auto that happens, it's timing is so different from like counter attack. Like I counter attack, I activate um, Wii's Coercion. Boom, my opponent's going all in. He's like, oh, bad ring laser. Gets rid of the Wii's Coercion. Then my auto kicks in where I can negate the attack still using this and it skips over a timing which kind of like going back. Super weird ruling, but makes him really good. So great card, great leader. Um, normally hate him, but for t this video, I really like him. Now the deck, the new cards. We're running four multicolor Janimba and four multicolor Bojack. Because, you know, the main reason we're playing this deck is because of the Bojack. Even though it might not be as good, it's still a tech. It's still really cool. Um, in energy, these cards count as blue and yellow. Um, when you charge it, when you play it as an energy, it comes into play already rested. It can't be active. Uh, you have to wait pretty much a turn. So your turn one, you kind of just want to charge this off the bat if you don't have a turn one play. But um, other than that, they have incredible effects. Like this one is super weird. Um, I'm not gonna embarrass myself with that A word. I think it's Argus, I know it's not, but I'm not gonna embarrass myself with it, but it's once per turn. Uh, my opponent's turn, let me read it so I don't sound weird. If it's your opponent's turn, you can activate this during defense step. So when your opponent attacks, no negates, cool, we're going combo step. He does his combo, he puts out as much as he wants, 100,000, awesome, cool. Um, then on my defense step, when I'm about to combo, I can activate this. And its ability is, if, your if it's your opponent's turn, you can activate this during the defense step by placing cards in your hand, to in your hand to the drop area that match the colors specific uh, by the A word, whatever the A word is. Um, <laughs> And basically, you need to pitch a blue and yellow. The thing is, since these are dual colors, they count as both, so if you have an extra copy in your hand, you can pitch it and untap two energy, off the bat. Incredible, um, tapped out at four, because I played this guy, no biggie. Um, my opponent's going for a big swing. I can pitch another copy out of my hand, untap two energy, and then his auto 
is when you activate Agus, Agus, I'm really gonna try this. When you activate Agus, if there is no evil incarnated, basically Janimba cards, in the battle area other than him, your opponent mills one card. So just by activating the effect, I can untap two energies just by pitching this and my opponent mills one card. And what's this deck? It's a mill deck, so that's just perfect card's insane it also has barriers so it's kind of hard to remove if you're not playing against broly but truth be told i feel like broly could be like its worst matchup um outside of that this deck is quite um uh, i don't want to say bad words it, it, it's quite annoying that that's the right word to use quite annoying to play then bojack you know main reason not as great in this deck but still really cool um it's a blocker 20k fantastic it, with a new keyword called arrival for one yellow and let me just read it so I don't mess up. Play this card from your hand when you have blue and yellow cards in your combo area. Super weird timing on this card because basically I'll combo, let's say I combo with this. I have a blue and yellow in my area and now I have an extra card in my hand. I can pay one yellow to bring this out in the board mid combo like it's coming out in the combo phase so it's kind of like a weird timing but a 20k blocker coming out for one yellow super worth um then his auto is when you play this card choose one of your opponent's battle cards switch it to rest mode then place the top card of your opponent's a deck to drop area so comes into play and automatically makes my opponent middle card this is a mill deck it goes with the theme and it's blue and yellow that's what we need these new cards make this deck super interesting to play then we're going to kind of like the basic of the decks. Most uh, Janemba players, four Sense of Beans, best card, very important. I only ever play three Negates. Truth be told, I, I can't justify running four. Um, I know most people run four, you should run four, but I'm always comfortable just playing three. Um, one of the better ones it untaps two blue energies and these count as blue and yellow so you can tap take theoretically yellow energies too with dimensional magic really good and then since we are playing blue and yellow i run two crusher balls because you're the broly match was already hard enough but the secret rare <coughs> if it ruins your hand then that's it that there, there's no coming back from that so when they play the secret rare, you need some kind of out you're like all right crush your ball that's all you got but hey, at least it's something. If not, you just charge it, not a big deal. But I'm a huge fan of Charger Ball. Next, for cards, two <coughs> Spike Brother rocking out. Um, this card is way too good. Time out. <coughs> Edit this out, Marcel, okay? All right, all right, hold on. I'm actually gonna redo. I'm gonna drink some water. I was choking, I don't know why. All right, now we're gonna add to this. Next, we're gonna play two of the one drop. Bam! Demon rocking out. Um, great card, when it comes into play, you could either choose to look at the top seven for a Janimba card, or the bottom of your deck for a Janimba card and add it to your hand. Really good. The reason I'm playing two is, just like Devin said in his video, two just seemed enough. Uh, you don't need to play more, it's more better, yes. But um, most of the time when I do play it, it's, it's one of those that like, I'm just continuing my plays afterwards. Um, when I do play it for seven, there is 12 targets, so it, it barely misses. But when it does, my God, I just want to scoop. I won't, but I want to. So it has missed a few times. I like playing it when I know what's in the bottom of my deck. I'm like, all right, grab it back. So big fan of that. I'm only playing three of the Childish Heart Janimba. Uh, really important in a deck, we want to get our main blue-yellow on the board. And instead of playing four, we literally just want to bring it out for this guy. Uh, just for playing for one. This is the main deck, you just want him on the board and control from there. And this guy is going to help you. It's a cheaper version, you swing 19, you play one blue. The fact that he's barriered, kind of hard to deal with. Genome players, you already know. Only two of the Agent of Destruction way too good to be honest um when you're when players go against janimba they know oh if i keep a creature on the board it's going to get warped let me not play it all right cool this is another line of play which i was hard like once you have your main guy on the board uh next you just want to keep doing what janimbas do just play a guy 
um, get his ability. If he comes from your hand or warp, you can activate his effect to untap an energy uh, at the end of the turn. Cool. Active main is you can send them to warp to draw a card and make your opponent mill three. Three is better than two, closer to death, and it just really works out. So two is perfectly fine. Uh, Child is heart. Can, it grabs a Janemba from the deck and warps it, then brings something from warp to the field. So even if this is sitting in the warp, you can pick this so it gets banished and bring this guy out. Little plays you can do. <coughs> cut that out, okay? Cut, cut, cut that out. How weird. All right. Next card. Oh, hold on. No, no, no. Let me do the count for you. One, two, three. All right. So next card is going to be three Demon Sword Janimbas. Probably one of the better Janimbas. Maybe the best at your removal. But uh, this deck is more focused on the yellow, yellow blue. Want to have it on the board. Afterwards, these are just going to be like in and out. Tag in, tag out. Just remove, get rid of two. This is your removal of the deck. Four super combos, because sparking is not that important. Um, this is just a better one altogether. So, we play this one. Bandai's taking forever to deal with Super Senron, so we still gotta play these at four, max it out. If anything, I wanna play the Wii's too, but there was only so much space in this deck, so I played four Borgos. Um, just really important for the meta, Bandai help. The next new card. We're playing blue-yellow, so we're gonna play a new yellow negate. So theoretically, I run seven negates. It was three dimensional magics, but the other negate that I'm running is four of this Bojack. Why? Because it's Bojack. Let's let's go with that off the bat. And his ability is really interesting. It's counterattack, negate, and attack. Play this card, so you automatically get to play. Permanent. During your opponent's turn, if there's a card in your energy area that's blue and yellow, so if there's a card, not if you have blue and yellow in your energy, there has to be a card with both those colors. So either the Bojack or the Janimba has to be charged already. One, or, sorry, a little messy. Or two. If either of these are in your combo, uh, in your energy area, then you can make this guy for one. Reduces the cost by two, and then auto, when you play this card, place the top card of your opponent's deck to the drop area. So you get to negate an attack, have a creature on board, so you basically have a 5k on the board, and get to mill a card. Everything you want in this deck, it's right here. It's just negate, control, and mill. Really good addition for Janemba. Next, your super combos. I play, the deck space was tight, so I only play four Piccolos and Four Gokus. The reason why three is because if people play the Danny Hype version of uh, Mecha Frieza, uh, Dende, when they look in your hand and play a card, when they play this, nothing happens. But if they play this uh, this cell, then you get to draw a card. So it's just better having this card in hand than this one. That's the only reason why. I would like to max out on this, but um, I found out that these three Overrun cards are way too good. Um, Butterworth will try now. I gave it a shot, and the fact that it comes out for free, it replaces itself, makes my leader stronger, so they have to defend harder. Everything was just so good about this that I was like, all right, I'm putting, I'm staying at three, and the super combos can be at seven. I'm okay with it so far. Again, touring around with the deck with the new cards, but I really like this addition. And the last card, you know how oh, Marcel loves Champa. Well, I made a decision. I love Beerus. Bam. That, that's how me and him are. He's Champa, I'm Beerus. And this guy is just that good. When they try to shotgun you, go all out, double strike, triple strike, whatever the case is, as long as it's not victory strike because you can't negate that effect. Ruling, really know that. Um, you get to stop something that's important. So if they're going all out, double strike for 100,000, you get rid of double strike and boom, you only take one and you're fine. Uh, what's different between him and Pilaf is Pilaf is during the attack, like when they declare the attack, you peel off and you get rid of double strike, okay, they won't combo out. But what this guy is, all right, no negates, your opponent swings for a million, double strike on your defense step, you get to combo with this and get rid of it. Even if you're tapped out, you can do a really cool play where you're tapped out, you don't have any energy open, 
He's like, all right, uh, if you defend some magic, it doesn't matter, he'll be at one, okay. With this, you can pitch this guy, untap two, and then with those two, you can combo this and get rid of like an important keyword. So it's a great addition. Another really cool combo with uh, this deck is when you negate an attack, it stays on the board. Now, later on in the game, if they don't remove him for whatever reason, let's say your opponent swings at your leader for uh, 25. So you need a combo to 30. You can combo with him, yellow, then combo with your super combo, you go to 30, awesome. And since you do have a blue and yellow on the board, because you're not really wasting any cards, you're defending yourself, you pay one yellow and you can bring this guy out. So that's another cool combo you can do. The fact that this just sits on the board and until you need it, just combo a yellow and a blue and you bring out this guy for free and tap a dude and now you have a 20k blocker that they have to deal with. All right guys, so that was my deck profile of Janimba. Is it like meta? tier probably not um this is kind of like the first time i played with janemba i played against it and playing against it is kind of different from knowing playing i know how weird that sounds but like playing it itself i know the old version like um butterworth's deck it had a bunch of one drops so turn one two and three were solid and by turn four it kept going this one doesn't have such a great start like that but once the Janimba blue yellow is on the board. That's when your deck shines. That's when you're just controlling the whole game and trying to have fun um, Such a weird word to use fun and Janimba, but try it out. Let me know what you think. Thank you for joining me till next time